Hey guys, the objective of this video is now to calculate the base shear. So the formula of a base shear looks like this. V equals KPZ CH of T1 times by S subscript P on nu times by W subscript T. Okay, so we're going to be finding all these values in this video and then we can work out the base shear. This is from section 6.2.1 on page 35. So on page 35, 6.2.1, I'll zoom in for you to show you the formula. Okay, this is the compressed version. This is just, I've literally just rewritten this on the page. Okay, so we need to find all these values. So the first thing we're going to be doing is finding W subscript T, which is known as the seismic weight. So the seismic weight is defined in section 6.2.2 on page 36, just over the page. So if I show you this, if I zoom in, the weight is the sum of the gravity plus the sum of psi c qi, okay? Where gi and psi c qi are summed between uh, the mid heights of adjacent stories, okay? gi is the permanent action at level i, including allowance of 0 0.03 for ice on roofs. Uh, psi c we're gonna be seeing now, and q is the imposed action on each floor, okay? So what we're doing is we're summing up the uh, dead load and live loads times the live load of each factor. We're summing each of those up on each floor. So it's pretty simple. The first thing we're gonna be doing is finding the psi c value. Now in that same section, it told us psi c. Psi c, for our case, we're looking at, when our, our building isn't storage, just the normal office building. So our psi c value is just gonna be 0.3. Okay, so psi c is 0.3 as the building is non-storage. Then to work out the um, seismic weight, it's pretty simple. All you do is you add up the dead and live load on each floor, okay? If we go back to the problem we were given, on level one, two, and three, we're given a dead load of 1,000 and a live load of 1,200, okay? So 